Health Watch is presented by UMass Memorial Healthcare. Here, caring for you. In the winter, um, we see a lot of different illnesses in children. I would consider that our busy season <laughs> for sickness. Um, and so there's lots of mainly viruses that we'll see in the winter. People are pretty familiar with influenza virus um, that they hear a lot about on the news. Um, but more common than that, we'll see other viruses like rhinovirus, which is the common cold. Um, and also respiratory syncytial virus, or RSV, that we'll see in young children. And those are some of the, the viruses that people hear about a lot, although there's plenty of other types of viruses that are around in the winter. Our viruses spread because we're inside more. People tend to be close together. Um, it also has to do with the dryness of the air, because interestingly, even in um, different climates where maybe they're still outside a lot more because it's warmer, when you have changes in the humidity, it actually changes the lining of your nose and makes you more susceptible to getting some of these viruses. Do humidifiers work in these cold, dry situations? I recommend humidifiers a lot for people. Um, not so much to prevent illness. I don't think, you know, having more humidification is necessarily going to keep you from getting the cold from whoever, you know, touched something with their, you know, the virus on it and then you touched it. But it definitely can help with the symptoms. So when you're having a lot of congestion and a lot of mucus, the vaporizer helps to kind of loosen that up and it helps keep it flowing so you don't feel so plugged up. What are ways of preventing and lessening symptoms if a child gets sick? One of the best things you can do is to get your flu vaccine every year. You know, being aware of who's sick around you. If you are sick, you know, stay home. If you have a fever, you're likely contagious. So keep your kids out of school until they've been fever free for, for at least 24 hours. 